have known rivers. I have known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood in human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I look upon the Nile and rest the pyramids above it. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when a whaling con went down to New Orleans and I have seen it muddy Uzon turn our garden in the sunset. I have known rivers, engines, dusky rivers. My soul has gone deep like the rivers. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Work, I think of Langton Hills. Who is Langton Hills? Hmm. James Mercer Langton Hughes was born February 1, 1902, in Dublin, Missouri. He was an American poet, social activist, novelist playwright and columnist from Dublin, Missouri. One of the earliest innovators of the then new literary art form called jazz poetry. Hughes is best known as a leader of the Harlem Renaissance. His parents separated soon after his birth and he was raised by his mother and grandmother. He wrote the poem the Negro Speaks of Rivers. The summer after his graduation from high school in Cleveland, it was published in The Crisis in 1921 and brought him considerable attention. After attending Columbia University in New York City in 1921-1922, he explored Harlem, forming a permanent attachment to what he called the Great Dark City and worked at a store on feeder born for Africa. Hughes document African American literature and culture in works such as a pictorial history of the Negro in America, 1956, and the anthologies The Poetry of the Negro, 1949, and The Book of Negro Folklore, 1958, with Bonthams. Langston Hughes died of complications from protest cancer on May. 22nd, 1967, in New York City. You said that he wrote the Negro Speaks of Rivers, right? Mm, and what about this poem? This poem is about African people and their life before and after leaving their land. With the speakers described with his memories, which are attached with ancient rivers in Africa. Mm, what does the river symbolize? The river is a symbol of lifetime. It reflects the experience in history that he has seen and experienced big change in his civilization. What is the name of this poem? Pile of being African According to the line, my soul has grown deep like rivers. The speaker says that he was like the rivers and he seemed proud about it. Independent According to the line, when a billion con went down to New Orleans, 
and I've seen its muddy bottom turn all golden in the sunset, which means when Abraham Lincoln declared the preliminary emancipation proclamation and slaves become free. You ask me this many questions, you should read it yourself. Why? Why should I read it? The reason is... This poem is a free verse and uses many literary devices such as allusion, symbolism, and personification. So, this poem is easy to read and good to use for studying. For example, I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abel Lincoln went down to the New Orleans. This line used person personification as if the Mississippi can sing. Reason 2. This poem has historical information about the United States in the modern period and the Harlem Renaissance, and there are many rivers mentioned in the poem which have important history in the world. Reason 3. This poem represents about how African Americans can be equal to every people in the world and that the speaker support abolition of slavery of Abraham Lincoln that's mentioned in the poem. I hear the singing of the Mississippi when Abraham Lincoln went down to New Orleans and I've seen its muddy blossom turn all golden in the sunset. Yeah.